गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग फ्रॉम विचवल लोकेशन यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो अ वेरी 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 वॉम वेलकम टू क्वेस्पॉन्स यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम डिस्कसिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच आई प्रैक्टिस माई सेल्फ विच आई फॉलो माई सेल्फ एंड इवन द क्वेस्पॉन्स ऑल कोर्सेस फॉलो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इज टर्म्ड एज पीसफुल लर्निंग दैट कॉन्सेप्ट इज टर्म्ड एज स्ट्रेस फ्री लर्निंग सो लेट अस्ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वर्ड पीसफुल लर्निंग और स्ट्रेस फ्री लर्निंग नाउ लेट अस से दैट अ डेवलपर वॉन्ट्स टू लर्न एज यूर एज आई टी डेवलपर इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी शुड बी अपडेटेड अपग्रेडेड वी शुड बी लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स राइट और एल्स यू नो विल बी आउट ऑफ द मार्केट सो दैट एवरी वन नोज अबाउट इट आई विल नॉट बी स्ट्रेसिंग मोर ऑन दैट सो लेट से दैट वी वॉन्ट टू अपग्रेड आवर सेल्फ टू अज यूर वी वॉन्ट टू लर्न अज यूर लॉट ऑफ डेवलपर्स वॉट दे डू दे गो एंड they join a course which is of 8 hours or 10 hours or 3 days whatever right and in that 3 days they try to learn azure and after and in that 3 days you know whatever it is they try to practice they try to do things and so on right but now let us say i i do the other way i say that don't do it in 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 3 days right spread that 3 days across 3 months means in a weekly on a weekly basis let us say you do only 1 hour another week you do only one hour for example if you see our azure training i could have taken our azure training we have an azure training which i am doing currently for 8 hours this coming thursday we are having that azure training if i wanted i could have taught you that whole azure in one or two days but i i, I did not do it look at our react training last last week we completed our react training by pradeep sir it's almost 12 to 18 hours i don't exactly remember the number out here you can see on the screen out here so look at this this is the react js training if you see out here it is almost 15 hours if pradeep sir wanted he could have taken this training in 3 days 4 days but what we did we spread it across we said okay 2 hours in a week look at our azure training remember our azure training is happening on this coming thursday so on thursday 9 pm time we are taking the azure training and this time i am going to talk about function apps and logic app this azure training like uh, the goal of this azure training is that uh, it's an 8 hours course even though it is an 8 hours course i have still spread it every thursday so look at this this was day 1 which happened on thursday another thursday we did day 2 another thursday we did day 3 another thursday we did day 4 day 5 anyone who is attending this azure training please write down in the comments below if you are there if somebody has attended this training right do you think it was effective right why i feel it would be effective because i take that thursday i take that training and then you have the whole week to practice whole week you have to you have you have the chance to practice right so what i'm saying when i say peaceful learning means that rather than going and learning anything in one go when you are in a cushion job when you are having a job which is properly going on right at that time take up a topic which you feel is relevant in the market which at this moment you are not working on right for example let us say in your project you don't have azure then please uh, see that you take up the azure topic right and say okay let me do it every saturday one hour so first one hour you open up the azure account second another thursday or another saturday whatever it is right weekly basis you can decide it i'm going to go and create a virtual machine and look at the different settings another saturday and another saturday and one day you will see that you are done with azure right so that's what is termed as peaceful learning also you know i would like to stress here i know that a lot of people will say oh like we should do it on daily basis see daily basis uh, for people who are working for 8 hours you are tired in the evening i can understand it like i have been working in companies for many years and i know that after that 8 hours of politics and forget it is not 8 hours it's 10 hours i know that but saturday and sunday specifically those afternoons look at this training of azure crash course it is happening on afternoon time saturday and sunday afternoon time i know that many of the developers chill out so that only one hour if you give to that topic right eventually in a week you would become better in that so that is termed as peaceful learning and stress free learning you know i think one or two days back i don't exactly remember i had made a linkedin post wherein i discussed a very important terminology called as learning depth knowledge depth knowledge gap skill gap whatever word you want to use but i like that word learning depth because i like the other word called as technical depth right so this learning depth means what learning depth is nothing but it is the skill gap 
between what you know and what the market demands. See, it is, you know, in, let's say in your project, you are working with JavaScript jQuery, but the market is demanding Angular or React. In your project, you don't have Azure, the market is demanding Azure, right? So this is termed as the skill gap, right? The learning gap, learning depth. Now, what happens is, you know, when we are working in a company, we are doing daily meetings, we are doing some daily small politics, right? Uh, and we are working on our PR, we are working on our bug fixes, right, which is a part of our work because we get the money and so on. But when that day comes, when that D-Day comes, you know, where the company has issues or where you feel like now you want to exit the company, suddenly you see pile of these things you have to learn. So you have to learn Angular, you have to learn uh, MVC core, let us say, if you're working with web forms, right, you want to, you have to upgrade to .NET core, you are doing ADO.NET, you have to now do Entity Framework, and uh, you have to do Azure and you have to do DevOps and you have to do Docker and you have to do Kubernetes. You have to also look into design patterns. You have to upgrade your resume, right? Think about it that when that D-Day happens, so much think in one time you have to do. So if you're practicing peaceful learning and stress-free learning while you are in the cushion job, you are better placed. See, for last two, three years, I have been meeting a lot of people online on QuestPond. I have been reviewing their resume. I am doing mock interviews with them. There are two types of developers I've seen. One, you know, who has a job on hand and I tell them, if you have a job on hand, don't worry. Three, four months we have, we can practice, we can do things. Now, there are developers who have resigned. They don't have a job on hand. Think about it, how much mental pressure it, it, it takes, right? You have to look after your family. You must be having loans, right? Um, you have to now make your resume. You have to learn this huge hold of topics. Peaceful learning will not happen. Nahi hoga. Learning peaceful will not happen. It will just make you more stressed. And remember that people who are, I'm not trying to undermine anyone. I'm myself 50 plus. People who are 45 and 50 plus, right? We have an age like, you know, 25, 30, where we can take stress. But when you are in 50 plus, right, really you can't take this much stress. You can't do this much learning in one go. So many times, right, I've seen many developers at the age of 50 plus say that, oh, this whole IT is so bad. They keep changing, right, and they leave IT and they never come back. They try to do something in their life or whatever it is, right, uh, as, a, as, a, as a other income, but they leave IT forever. So I would suggest that. Practice this peaceful learning, this stress-free learning on a weekly basis. I understand on daily basis, I understand uh, it is difficult, right? But on weekly basis, you can write. So please do attend our trainings. We have this uh, Azure training, which is happening on Thursday. I'm going to talk about serverless this time, right? Function app, logic apps. I'm going to create a project, host it, right? Uh, so that is one second. We are coming up with microservices training. Right, microservices training, uh, which I'm planning and which will help you to upgrade to microservices. Look at the past training. We had React and Angular and MVC core trainings. Right, look at our interview question courses. Everything I'm posting down below. Right, don't have to do everything in one go. Just try to do 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Right, peaceful learning. One of the most important byproduct of peaceful learning is assimilation. Assimilation means that knowledge becomes a part of you. That is very important. If I want to use some other terminology, which normally software people can connect, is institutionalize. It becomes a part of you, right? And when something has to become a part of you, it has to be slow. It cannot be like in one go, you can't it. I mean, like if you're learning something about Azure <clears throat> or if you're learning something about design pattern, you would like to do some small coding. You would like to go and learn something from Stack, Stack Overflow. You would like to go to ChatGPT and talk something. Uh, you would like to create some diagrams. It's, it's a slow process. And when that kind of assimilation and institutionalization, I'm sorry, English is my second language, that happens within you, you can crack any interview, right? So I hope that I was able to explain this thing, peaceful learning. We practice ourselves on QuestPond that, right? Our trainings are not like seven days in a week. It is two days in a week, one day in a week, slow, right? Uh, and second thing, guys, you know, uh, frankly, I don't create, you know, such kind of videos, non-technical videos, mostly I avoid. If you see in technical in, in QuestPond, mostly 99% videos are technical. But what I found is that when you go for interviews, right, 
Interview is 70% technical. Please understand everyone. And that's what I've been saying in one-to-one -one sessions when I mentor people. When I see their resume, when we do mock interviews, we have all that things. We have the interview questions. Please go through them. We have the step-by-step -step series. Please go through them. Please attend our live trainings. But 70% is technical and 30% is non-technical. How do you articulate yourself? How do you put down your CV? How do you write your summary, right? How do you learn, right? How do you uh, project yourself, right? And how, and also like this one, one important part and many other things, you know, I cannot say um, all of the things out here, right? Let me know if you want to have a separate non-technical series point wise, what are the non-technical points, you know, which we should, as a developer, we should, uh, we should know. I would like to create, you know, such kind of a series as well, right? So I hope that I was able to explain you the terminology peaceful learning. Also, please go ahead and uh, check out you know my recent note which I which I wrote on LinkedIn called as technical depth. <clears throat> please do go and comment over there and don't forget our Azure training is happening peacefully on Thursday 9 p.m. Serverless function apps and logic app. Please do attend it. Happy learning. Happy job hunting. Be billable. Have a nice life. Thank you.